For most of us, if we're lucky, we have all of our five senses, sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. And if you happen to be in a Bruce Willis movie, you might have one extra kind of creepy sense. But unfortunately for those with vision impairment, there have been few choices to help them see clearly again. Until now, here's Ali Ward to explain. This is Conrad Lewis, the inventor of eSight glasses. Oh, wow. <laughs> the glasses fuse technology, hardware, software, and algorithms into a wearable device that allows some people who are visually impaired to see. It happens through a very high quality camera and display system, which gives the user the ability to make personal adjustments through a handheld remote. When you have a visual impairment, your photoreceptors lose their function. We can compensate because we capture a, a high quality image of the scene and then we'll modify it so that you can now see it even with your impaired photoreceptor. This is Conrad's sister, Julia Lewis, one part of his inspiration to create these glasses. I was born with juvenile macular degeneration called Stargardt's disease, but I didn't know I had it till I was in my mid-20s. Stargardt's takes away central vision. My brother Conrad told me that someday he would develop a device that would enable me to see again. And without hesitation, I believed him. So I was the oldest of five children, and my job was to look after my younger brother and three younger sisters. I said, okay, I'll use all my engineering abilities to help my sister see well again. So after years of being told it can't be done, then we finally had the working prototype to try. You know what? I will never forget the second instant I put it on. I, I restored my sight. I could see. First thing he said was, I can't see my blind spot. My blind spot's gone. Well, that's good, Julia. No blind spot. <laughs> that's good. My first thought was, thanks, Con. <laughs> wow, you really nailed this. I traveled to Toronto, Canada to learn more. Eastside's chief scientific officer, Brian Meck, walked me through it. I have terrible vision, but I am wearing contacts. Okay. Okay. No, you'll Ooh. still, you should still notice something. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is super magnified. <gasps> so upper left is zoom. Yep. Upper right is contrast and lower right is focus. Wow, I can see the tiniest print. So amazingly enough, people with eSight who are like 2400 without the device on, yeah. cannot sometimes get down to the 2010 line there. What? That's uh, supervision. That yeah. is bionic. Yeah. Afterward, I could glimpse ever so slightly life through Julia's eyes and the countless other people who have been helped by these glasses. Well, how does it feel to be able to walk with these on? Oh, freedom. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to be able to drive, but this is as good as, uh, as that, yeah. Here at eSight headquarters, the walls are filled with stories of lives changed by these glasses and emotional reminders that everyone deserves to see. There's some absolutely incredible stories of how the technology has just transformed many, many aspects of many different kinds of people's lives. <laughs> I can see across the room. What's it like, Mark? Eye-opening. Wow. 